I'm on an expedition to study the great white shark. These monsters have the reputation of being cold-blooded killers. But is it possible for me to swim with them without becoming prey? Before I dare get into the water with them, I want to see more about how sharks perceive the world. Dr. Maurizio Hoyas has been studying great white sharks at Guadalupe for eight years. Here, this is the head of a four-meter female. And as you see, the teeth are triangular and serrated. So we have very different shaped teeth in the lower jaw and in the upper jaw. It's almost as if these are to uh, grab a hold of prey exactly. and these are to slice or tear into exactly. the blubber of marine mammals. With every bite, they can take up to 60 pounds of meat. 60 pounds? That's amazing. Wow. That's 27 kilograms, or the size of an eight-year-old child, in each bite. You have here layers, rows of teeth. As the front row drops out, these will roll forward, almost like they're on a conveyor belt. And a shark of this size might go through 30,000 teeth in a lifetime. Mako sharks are from the same family as great whites and share their super senses. What can you tell us about the eyesight of the sharks in this family? The eye is very big. They are very visual predators. Classically, when you see a white shark biting, you see all of a sudden the eye go completely white. Uh, exactly. Why is that? Is that something that you can show here? Yeah, they move the eye backwards, but they do that in order to protect their eye when they are feeding on the prey. As it strikes, the great white protects its eyeball from struggling prey by turning it inwards, showing the white membrane at the back of the eye. 